ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਮੇਅਰ ਪੈਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਬ੍ਰਾਊਨ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਕੰਜ਼ਰਵੇਟਿਵ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੇ ਉਮੀਦਵਾਰ ਬਣਨ ਲਈ ਰੇਸ ਚ ਸਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਆਗੂ ਦੀ ਰੇਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਖ ਕਾਰਨ ਕੈਂਪੇਨ ਫੰਡਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਨਿਯਮਾਂ ਦੀ ਪਾਲਣਾ ਨਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਰੇਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਹੋਣ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਸਿਟੀ ਚ ਡਿਪਟੀ ਮੇਅਰ ਅਤੇ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਸਮੂਹ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪੈਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਬ੍ਰਾਊਨ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਮੀਟਿੰਗਾਂ ਨਾ ਕਰਨ ਤੇ ਕਈ ਬੇਨਿਯਮਾਈਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਜਾਗਰ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਤੇ ਸਿਟੀ ਚ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਫੰਡਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਪਲੇ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਂਚ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਮੰਗ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਦੱਸ ਦਈਏ ਕਿ ਪੈਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਬ੍ਰਾਊਨ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਹੁਣ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਮੇਅਰ ਦੀ ਚੋਣ ਲੜਨ ਲਈ ਦਿਲਚਸਪੀ ਦਿਖਾਈ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰਾਂ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਗਰਿਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਪੀਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਮੇਅਰ ਉੱਪਰ ਕਾਉਂਸਲ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਰੱਖਣ ਲਈ ਦਬਾਅ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕ
An individual has every right to run for leadership, is running for a party, and then because of whatever happened with allegations of, and we only know through the media of financial misappropriation or allegations we don't uh, know, we are now enthralled in this controversy as not only us as councillors who have nothing to do, none of us here are running for any position with any party, but unfortunately we've been now engulfed in this, solicited by media, every national media I myself never wanted to be here to talk about any party uh, 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 election. So what essentially has happened is that there is a pattern and people are asking us, what's going on also at the city of Brampton? Again, we have a forensic audit into a Brampton University where people allegedly close to uh, a candidate who received consultant, uh, 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 consultant contracts that we don't know where the work went, we don't know where the money has gone, there's no accountability. So what seems to be is a pattern. It's not exclusive to what, I guess, the Conservative Party is dealing with. We've been dealing with this for two years, and only many of you have only caught on now. So what is frustrating for us is that we know what's going on in Brampton, and only now it seems today that people finally have, uh, uh, in a way, caught on to what seems to be a larger issue. Uh, we don't have the same media attention as other avenues. We have local media, social medias that seems to be taking positions between one way or another but we have no strong reporting, and this is what we're looking for, is people that look at what happens uh, uh, federally, really there's an impact here at the city of Brampton, and this has been going on. Well, we're, we're not, I guess that's the, we're not accusing anyone at this time. Uh, we got the media the same as everyone else last night, but that's uh, on his leadership through the Conservative Party. Ours is mostly at the city. It's been four council meetings that no one showed up, and we can't, like Council Madero said, we cannot conduct any city business. And this is not about the appointee, a traditional review and all. It's about bringing things in closed so during our election, everything will be covered up. And I'm hoping the CEO will bring these in the open, regardless of what happens as a traditional review. So the residents have the right to know where all this money went from the Brampton U, uh, uh, the contracts not started, not finished, and splitting contracts. These are all investigations, and the residents have, we have to be transparent to our taxpayers. There's a 25th of July, this is a special council meeting, and a regular council meeting will be August 10th.